Well, hello again. My name is Mac Laskowski, and uh, we're going to take a look this time um, at a great little effect that you can do to add to photos um, that I think have a hint of lighting in them and you want to enhance it a little bit. It's a great little lighting effect um, for an area. You know, this is a great example back here. It just it's kind of a blah overcast day, but it's got potential. It's got potential for uh, for a little trick that we can do here inside of Lightroom and inside of Camera Raw with Photoshop. So it'll work with either. I'll show you in a second here. But let's just say we're using Lightroom. A um, couple things you can do. You could grab your brush tool. And this is actually the way I used to do this quite a bit. Um, what I really want to do here, just to explain briefly, is there's some light coming through the trees back here. All right. I, light is obviously dynamic, you know, we can, it really can add to a scene, but to me, it's still, it's just missing a little bit. It was, it was way too overcast to make that glow anything more, um, kind of more interesting. So what I do sometimes is I'll grab my, uh, my adjustment brush tool and I'll crank up the warmth. Cause that's what I really want to do is I want to add some color to this too. It's just a little bit too gray for me. Um, so I crank up the, uh, the temperature slider here. I'll go down here to your brush and you can get a nice big brush. Also use the, uh, use the feather setting here, crank that way up. And then I'm just going to drag and, and just paint right up there in that corner. All right. And, uh, take a look. I'm going to click the toggle switch. That's before that's after. See the difference? So look at what a difference that makes, how it warms up the entire photo and kind of just makes it, kind of makes you draw right into that area. The nice part about it is you can also increase the exposure and almost give yourself a little bit of a glow back there too. I don't, of course, I don't want to do that, but I can just bump up that exposure a little bit, a little bit more on the temperature slider. And, uh, and it's just affecting that area back there. Real nice little effect. That's the way I used to do it um, in the later versions of Lightroom and, uh, and Camera Raw. What I've been doing now is using the radial filter uh, because that has the same exact adjustments. And uh, so let's go ahead and I'll increase the, uh, the, the temperature here. Also increase the exposure a little bit. I'm gonna click and drag. And if you look at what happened by default, you'd, you'd say, well, I'll never use this again because that's not what I want. But if you go down here to the bottom, there's an option to invert. And what that means is it just flips it. See that? Here, I'll turn it off. So it's, it's basically affecting everything but what's inside the circle. And then you have this option to flip it so it only affects what's inside the circle. Makes it a lot easier. You can reshape it. All right, make it a little bit larger. You can control the feather so it can be harder or softer. All right, and then of course you can go back here and control all the sliders. So I can change it as much as I want. Okay, again, let me show you the before and after. So that's before, that's after. Real nice little finishing touch. Um, when you have an area like that where you see potential for light, we can enhance that a little bit. Just to show you that it also works inside of Camera Raw. Here, let's take a look. All right, so here is our photo. And uh, we'll go and you've got your adjustment brush, same exact adjustment brush, increase the uh, temperature and increase the exposure a little bit and then paint. You still have all your brush size down here, the size, the feather, the opacity. So I can just paint right in that area or I'll clear it. And I've also got that radio filter. So once again, I can just crank up the temperature, crank up the exposure, click and drag. It's going to do the same thing that Lightroom did. And then all I've got to do is uh, just go down here, see effect. It says outside, inside. I'm just going to flip that to inside and that way it only affects what's in the circle. I kind of move it around, drag it around like a little spotlight. So real nice trick to, to just enhance the lighting and kind of the atmosphere uh, in some of your outdoor photos. My name is Mac Laskowski. Hope you enjoyed. Talk to you again soon.